Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. And I'm Kyle Inskeep. Damar Hamlin left the University of Cincinnati Medical Center today and is continuing his recovery in Buffalo tonight. Tonight marks one week since he collapsed on the field at Paycor Stadium when he suffered a cardiac arrest. David Winter attended today's update with doctors. He joins us now from UC Medical Center with a look at what is next for his recovery. All smiles today, David. Yeah, that's for certain, Paula. Yeah, this uh, news today is the best possible outcome for a guy who could have just as easily been known as the NFL player who died on the field on national television from a cardiac arrest. Instead, it appears that he's going to be known as the guy who survived a cardiac arrest on national television. Doctors today surprised everyone by announcing that Damar is not only out of critical condition, but he has left UC Medical Center and is now back in Buffalo recovering at a hospital there. They went on to say it's too early to determine what caused his heart to stop, and it's too early to determine whether he will play football again professionally. They said he's been speaking and walking normally, and the goal is to return him to the way he was prior to the injury, but that recovery will be measured in weeks, if not months. The goal for every uh, patient who suffered a you know serious illness or injury uh, is to uh, help them to return as close to baseline as possible. Uh, so we anticipate that he would have you know likely ongoing uh, needs, uh, you know whether it is therapy or you know at working um, with different specialists. Uh, to get him as close to, to where he uh, really can be. But, you know, again, to echo what we talked about on Thursday, he appears to be neurologically completely intact, uh, and there's no reason to uh, believe that he won't continue his path to recovery. Hamlin has been hospitalized since he was taken off the field last Monday in an ambulance. He went into cardiac arrest after attempting to tackle T. Higgins in the first quarter of the game. He was resuscitated on the field and brought here to UC Medical Center. Since then, the NFL, the players, football fans, and non-fans alike have rallied around him. He began posting to social media by the end of the week and even posted a picture of himself Sunday watching the Buffalo game at the hospital with his family. Doctors say if you are looking for a way to honor DeMar, support people learning CPR, learn CPR yourself, and support public access to defibrillators. For those of you who already supported DeMar's GoFundMe page, where he was trying to raise $2,500 for a local toy drive in Pittsburgh, well, it's now up to $8.6 million. Incidentally, DeMar did tweet this afternoon from his new hospital room at the Buffalo Medical Center. Grateful for the awesome care I received at UC Medical Center. Happy to be back in Buffalo. Paula. Oh, that is so good. There are just so many winners here, and we, we love this day, and we're continuing to follow the progress. Thank you, David.